How is everybody doing? Oh my goodness. Just going to close down like whatever extra windows I've got. Hi. <laughs> so starting up fresh right here, we're going to start a new food demon. Um, I wrapped up on pumpkin spice and I'll be posting some more about her at some point uh, in the near future. I'm going to go ahead to a different character right now. Uh, a little reveal. Drum roll, please. Brrr. There we go. Sushiyama. Whoa. Sushiyama. So, Sushiyama. Let me move him so that he's a little bit more out of the way of our little... Uh, so my face isn't blocking him. Um, and let's go ahead and save that spotlight so that it's not... Uh, so it takes into it takes the changes into account. <clears throat> Sushiyama, okay, super super fun. I went through and developed these base meshes in such a way that I should be able to utilize them uh, to form any of these characters. This particular character, he's a little bit hunched over, so just kind of looking at and assessing these uh, these designs. I'm going to turn on a light. Give me a second here. That's a little better, a little bit lighter, a little bit, you know, friendlier atmosphere, right? Something, something. All right. So Sushiyama, he is, uh, yeah. So one of the funny things, so Yama is Japanese for mountain. So he's literally a mountain of sushi. Um, he's going to be larger than uh, many of the other characters. So I'll start off at the very beginning and just kind of like scale up his uh, scale up his character's body some, um, and then we're going to go through the process of making it so that his body is fitting the body type of his character. So getting a little bit of sumo action in there, you know, um, get it so that he's ready to go. So, so without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay, cool. So I want to I wanted to make the, the, this is kind of a little trick just to kind of keep track of how much I scale something up. And in fact, I'm going to grab my iPad real quick. Uh, one of the things that I did recently is create um, a lineup. Went ahead and took a character, uh, did a character lineup, and uh, just so that I can kind of keep track of. Uh, it doesn't look like he'll be too much taller than Pumpkin Spice, or not not a whole lot taller than he is currently. Um, a lot of it's just going to be a matter of bulking him out, but we do want him to be a little bit taller. So let me see. Let's do this. Let's kind of. Oops. Oh. Oh. Oops. 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 Okay. So one of the tricks that I have to be able to kind of keep track of height changes. Okay, so we got our character here. I'm going to hit Shift S. And now when I go ahead and I start scaling, you'll see that like I can see the old scale compared to the new scale. So I'm going to take him, maybe make him... Maybe make him something like this. That feels pretty good. Okay, so literally he doesn't look any different, right? But he is. He's different. <laughs> a little bit scaled up. Um, a lot of what I'm going to do first is going to involve changing the body, um, which is going to push a lot of these proportions in the legs and in the arms out. Um, the arms themselves, I'm going to make them probably a little bit thicker to start, and, and then we'll get to the legs. I'm trying to think based on uh, I don't know. There, there's a lot kind of going into this and I gotta I gotta think a lot just to make sure that this is going to work the way that I need it to um, let's go ahead and grab the head doesn't need to change a whole lot I just want to kind of <laughs> get some get some stuff going on here um, let's go ahead and also take the opacity of Sushiyama down all right <clears throat> let's grab 
that red polygroup from the bicep. Oh, you know what? Okay, and then we'll just take this, we'll center that, and we'll hit the uh, the local trans, the uh, yeah, the the L transform, local transform, just to kind of make sure that that stays. Just trying to make sure that I'm not like destroying my center line here, because <laughs> I definitely don't want that uh, destroyed at all. Okay, starting to try to thicken up those arms some. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and grab uh, our mask lasso so it's something easier to, to deal with. And let's start expanding this out. Just wanted to get that nice big arm. Okay, let's see about taking that out. Start taking the body out. It's going to be a really weird process. I'm sure, you know, like for anybody who's not used to seeing a little skinny guy going into a really big guy. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, even for me, who's, you know, I've, <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of this is going to be super, super odd. It's starting to go somewhere already. You can already see some interesting proportion things happening very far away from where it needs to be. But, you know, it's going somewhere. go ahead and kind of let's turn off the local symmetry because we don't need that on at the moment I do however need to make sure that this is scaling from the bottom oh you know what let's do this hold alt and kind of scale this way so that way it's scaling in the X and the Z directions at the same time I don't have to worry about, hopefully, <laughs> you're ruining anything else. <laughs> okay. His neck is going to need to thicken out, but I'll worry about that sometime later. Just trying to work on filling out these forms, trying to get things to, to fill out in a way that feels a little bit more natural and some of this is going to need to be like I guess unformed and reformed <laughs> let's go ahead and change our smooth brush so that it's working slightly differently okay so right now, one of the big things that I want to make sure that I do, let's go ahead and let's, let's open up our timeline. Let's say show, and let's put our character in behind it. Um, he is kind of like hunched over in the concept, so I'm, I'm kind of counting on him. It doesn't have any battery. It's plugged into the wall. Give me a minute. Give me a minute.
Okay, let's turn that back on. Let's turn this back on. We're back. <laughs> the kids have a noisemaker that they had turned on so that they didn't have to hear me scream. And it somehow turned off. It didn't want to be on. Hey, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move this over here so that it's out of the way because it is very much in the way. All right, let's do this. So we got this. We've got it bookmarked, right? Yeah. Okay, we got that bookmarked. I'm also going to make a bookmark like here. Okay, you'll notice that something that stands out pretty, pretty clearly is that Sushiyama has no ears. <laughs> so I'm going to want to figure out a way to sculpt this so that it isn't there. Um, yeah, I actually, yeah, I want to make sure that I kind of honor this design. I like how sleek that is. I feel like that fits really nicely. Um, let's see, this needs to be reworked. But yeah, I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself, Leonard? How, how are you doing? <laughs> Am I keeping you, keeping you up? smooth that down so that it's nice yeah, there's a lot that's going to need to kind of be worked and then reworked feeling pretty good you're feeling better than you were yeah I actually kind of want to see and I mean this will be something to kind of to kind of test out to see you know how well it works um, I actually want to see if I can get the ears to just be flat. Works out all right. It's not too, too bad. That's not too bad. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll play with it later though. I think it's one of those things. We'll keep the ears for now, just in case we decide we want them later. A 103 wow but it broke overnight that's good so you're just you're just feeling feeling clucky now huh that's good dang yeah i feel like whenever i get sick it just lingers and lasts and <laughs> nobody can get any peace <laughs> pull this over the uh, the bottom half of the body is going to need to come down quite a bit so I'm just gonna grab this let's boom something like that the uh, the feet themselves I'm gonna want to make sure that this is oops invert that I want the toes to be as minimal as possible um, here let's go ahead and kind of smooth this in I kind of want to have like this super super subtle um, uh, I guess hinting at a foot but I don't want it to really break that silhouette too too much it's going to be a subtle breaking of the silhouette so a lot of working a lot of work needs to go into that bring his buttocks down, bring down his back. This needs to come down quite a bunch. He's quite the chunk. Got to make him a lot wider in the chest and a lot thicker in the arms, especially the upper arm. Um, although, something that could be worth possibly, you know, considering 
is uh, taking the because like I, I I like one of the uh, one of the shape language things the anatomy language things I'll say uh, that I have going on with many of my other uh, with many of my other designs so far includes um, kind of like a thicker lower arm so I don't know it could be it could be worth exploring an idea of you know what that could look like and I actually want this neck to kind of just like roll into the into the chin I want this to be pretty thick sushi yeah yeah I, I went through and I, I shared these guys like my whole lineup I like the only time I've shared my lineup so far I went to uh, I went to lunch with a buddy the other day my best friend um, he's like he's the only person besides my wife and kids that I've shared the whole lineup with so far um, my kids love these they are just like head over heels with these guys and they well uh, yeah, my kids are just always so interested in in uh, talking about them, and you know they want to uh, you know help come up with ideas, and and they're they're so creative and they're so funny. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's funny. It's funny. You vote? Okay. Combined his ears back like they did with the feet. Yeah, I thought about I thought about possibly giving him some sort of like band like made out of like uh, seaweed or something like that that kind of goes and binds that mask to his face. Um I'm not entirely sure that that's the way I want to go anymore. I think I kind of just want to eliminate the ears. Um, you know, just full out, get rid of it. Um, it's still something I'm weighing in, though. Let's, uh... These arms definitely feel, like, too hunched. So it's... <laughs> There's a lot there. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the get our select lasso. Let's hide all of these. In fact, you know, since this is something that I'll probably be editing a lot, let's go ahead and make these shoulders their own poly group, just so that they're easier to select. Let's go ahead and kind of pull them out. The uh, the thing that I want to do. Let's grab the hand and let's uh, let's pull it in a little bit because that'll help to kind of solidify some of that. This is going to be quite a process. <laughs> I mean, you can already tell with how long it's taking just for this little bit here that we've done uh, that this is not going to be a simple process, but it's okay. It's a process. <laughs> you just got to trust that it's <laughs> going to work out. Oops. Go ahead and kind of smooth that out a little bit so that we get a little nicer geometry for the shoulders. I feel like the forearms here are getting some some weird uh, forms in here. Let's see if we can kind of fix that out a little bit.
pull this back so that it so he's got kind of a good balance to his body. I was texting with Lori today. Oh no. Oh no. That happened today. Does she need anything? I don't think I have her phone number. I, I don't. <clears throat> Sadly enough, I, mean, I don't. I don't want you to send it over, <laughs> over the uh, chat. But it's a uh... man. That's that's painful. Oh, it was a couple of weeks ago then, huh? Okay, so she's doing she's she's kind of on the mend then. Man, that is that's hard. That's hard. Surgery was last week. I feel like the head's like too far up. Come on. Hey, Caitlin, how you doing? She's so great. Even with all that, she's still positive. That's good. Yeah, I I like I like Lori. She was she was very good to work with. She was very very good to work with. I might have her on Facebook. Seems like she was pretty active there. I'm not very active on Facebook anymore. <laughs> um. Okay, I gotta see if I can get a good shape kind of coming off of here. It feels it feels too anatomical. There we go. Just got your text, Leonard. Thank you so much. I'll have to text her in the morning so I don't wake her. <laughs> or risk waking her, you know. down here is going to have to create a little bit more of that sort of uh, droop into the arm. Let's see if we can get this to go smoothly. Oh, she's teaching online tonight. Oh my goodness. Just had an accident. Broke herself in half and she's <laughs> she's up. 
teaching. Oh my goodness. Broken but not broken. See if I can get this to fill in a bit more. I'm trying to decide. Okay, definitely like shape wise, it's not anywhere near where it needs to be. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's. He needs a lot more. Yeah, let's grab. Let's grab his feet here. Something kind of like that. I'm curious. I don't. I don't know that I'll be able to like finish this tonight. But you know, it's it's coming along. <laughs> A lot of what is going to make the overall shape work is getting things like like this slab of sushi on his chest um that's going to be something separate <laughs> still trying to get her into zbrush <laughs> wow because yeah, i'm pretty sure she was part of one of my uh one of my workshops that i did while i was still at imagineering here you know what I am going to, let's simplify these forms. I don't think he needs, like this particular character, I don't think he really needs like calf and knee, well maybe, well knee definition he's going to need. Um, which I might add an extra piece of geometry on there to, you know, kind of make that work a little bit more better. <laughs> um, so we'll have to see how that goes. He doesn't need buttocks at all. Yes, they are my own concepts. In fact, I had somebody uh, reach out to me on the new Food Demons official Instagram page. Um, let me show you guys, because this is fun. Um, Food Demons official. Right here. So this is where I'll be kind of like posting everything. I had somebody reach out to me today who's who was like, uh, are these yours? Are these your own concepts? This is this is great, whatever. And and they're like, <laughs> you know, I I, uh, I do NFTs and I was like no, you can't buy my concepts for NFTs. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and and they're like, but you're a businessman. And I'm like, I sell these for me. This is my thing. <laughs> you have nothing to do with the designer creation or anything of this. And and it's almost like she's she's talking to me like, you're unreasonable. And I was like, no, I have ownership. <laughs> It's such a, it's so painfully ridiculous to me how, um, how hard it is for some people to understand that, uh, no, uh, no means no, you know, it, it, no means no means no. <laughs> um, I'm not going to give you any kind of ownership over something that you did not think up or create. Uh, I'm not going to... <laughs> I mean, it's like, I, I, I don't know that I'll ever really get into, uh, cryptocurrency and, and that sort of stuff. I feel like there's, um, I feel like 
he's leaning too far forward now. Let me see, how do I want to fix this? Because if I, if I look at this, yeah, I need to make sure that his feet stay pretty much where they are. But yeah, I don't know. It just, it just, it drove me nuts that, uh, that she was so persistent with it. I was like, no lady, <laughs> these are mine. They're not yours. You will not have them. <laughs> um, someday when it's a full game, uh, you can purchase it and play it and enjoy it with your children and all that all that jazz, right? But for now, it's a concept work in progress bit of fun that I am doing in my spare time that I can find for myself, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's like, no. This is mine. Let's see if we can get some good shape in here. Okay, one of the things I want to do, let's add a little bit more, kind of like a straighter edge here on the front, I think. Straighter here. That, that should hopefully help make it so that the uh, the shapes can feel more graphic a little bit more easily um, by kind of simplifying the shape a little bit. Because I feel like this particular character would strongly benefit from some more graphic sort of shapes simply because he's so heavy set, right? Do you feel like you're talking to a solar sal salesman? Uh, yeah, kind of. Or like at the mall when you see the people who are trying to sell you on uh, like Spectrum Mobile or <laughs> or or other internet providers. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was a thing. It was crazy, and I'm just like, go away. <laughs> Now, someday when these, uh, when my proof of concept is done, you know, there's a possibility that I consider um, that I consider um, partnering with um, what's it called, like a like an actual studio, so to really fully realize the game because I mean there's a lot that goes into a game that I don't know how to do um, and I don't know maybe it's just a matter of me making sure that I you know get my own programmers and get my own uh, funding and get my own you know that sort of stuff right um, but yeah I mean it definitely felt like somebody's like but you know you you want the nft stuff you know, it's like no i know i definitely do not want the nft stuff <laughs> it's like no this uh that's not the right color for this <laughs> i definitely don't want somebody else having ownership over this before i'm before i'm done putting value into it and feel like I can get out of it what I need, you know? Because, yeah, I mean, you know, to an extent, I will definitely want to have this as a source of income for myself, for my family. Um, I don't need it to be somebody else's NFT project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Maniac. Real quick, I'm thinking, I want to show you guys, since you're here and it's late, you know, it's, 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 it's a good night, but you know, you guys deserve a little something, something. Let's see that. I'm going to show you food demons concept. I'm going to show you 
And this will be like my first reveal of most of these characters. <laughs> They're not all in the lineup, but there's a good bunch of them, right? So you're familiar with Pumpkin Spice right here, and you're also familiar with Sweet Tooth, okay? Right here we have Elote, which is <laughs> obviously is lucha, he's a luchador. <laughs> We've got um, Flapjack, okay? This is Suga. You know, she's like a, a little uh, diner waitress, and she's a coffee pot. She's kind of funny. Um, we've got Mystery Meat, <laughs> Sushiyama, as you've just met. Uh, this is an early iteration of Beefcake. I have a different iteration of him in my iPad. Um, I'm not going to worry about pulling that up. Um, but yeah, it's super, super fun um salt and pepper okay the twins <laughs> cream puff muffin top okay so super fun they're so so much fun <laughs> and i cannot wait to go through and, and finish building these out obviously i've got a long way to go um uh, we're on the third well the second that's going to be ready for uh, game engine sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, the third, the third overall that's been taken into 3D, right? We've got Sweet Tooth, who was the first, uh, and he was even 3D printed. We've got uh, Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> if they were going to sell these as prints, they would look so damn good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm hoping to be able to produce them as little uh like little tabletop toys, you know, like uh like this sort of scale. Um uh I wish I had the uh I've got one of those I, I forget what the brand is. Hold on, give me a second. And it's like, you know, I'm thinking like way ahead on all the uh, all the merchandising and all that, right? You know, so like one of the toys that I want to be able to do is kind of this this style where she's. You know, let me let me pull up the big camera so that we can see a little bit better. So I want to do like this sort of scale where they're poseable. They're little action figures that you can look at and have on your desk and display or whatever. But then these little things that you can, you know, have fun with and, and pose and make a scene or whatever, uh, so that you can, you know, just f for fun. Right. Um, for this year though, the hope I'm hoping to have a booth at designer con, um, in September or October, whenever, November, I guess, whenever, whenever it's meant to happen again this year. Um, I, I went, it was like, I, I went for the first time to designer con back in gosh, 2019 or whatever the, the year before the pandemic, right? Uh, whatever year that was, it was so long ago, <laughs> you know, um, let's go ahead and turn off that extra webcam so that we can see what I'm actually doing here. Um, and my hope, oh, you know what? That could be kind of a cool, a cool way to offset the weight. Give a little bit more belly, maybe, uh, maybe not belly, but he definitely needs more chest though. Um, oh, that's really odd. I don't know why it's doing that. To smooth that out. Um, but yeah, my hope is to have by the time Lightbox comes around in in September October. Um, my hope is to have a playable demo, um, which will take a ton of time. <laughs> and I will very likely need, you know, some level of help with that, um, just for the sake of getting like background elements put together or, um, 
know, texture painting done, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, and it's not going to be the full game. This is going to be for um, like a single level that's not even a full functioning level. Um, yeah, so much to it. And it's, it's, let's see if we can get this to work a little bit better. Just kind of hide those ears for now. But yeah, playable demo and also like some prints, like not a. <clears throat> Um, not like the full articulated toys, but to have, uh, you know, to have really quite nice little, um, what's it called? Um, little statues that I can that I can go through and, and kind of sell and um, planning on having them sent out to um, to China and finding a manufacturer through the Alibaba marketplace and all that and I'm just I'm moving forward <laughs> like like I, I feel like I've got so much steam on this and it's unbelievable i have felt such a such a push of inspiration and it's been tremendous um yeah i can't wait i just can't wait it's such an exciting project and and series of projects i guess to me <laughs> I'm trying to think the uh, the sushi on his chest I'm th I think I want to make it so that it's um, you know like a I don't want my iPad here it's like there's nowhere to put anything <laughs> um I want to make it so that the sushi is like a slab of sushi on his chest. Yeah, little maquettes. Yeah, so I'm doing something of a vertical slice to be able to to showcase, yeah, like that that whole thing, the the playability of of the characters, the scene, that sort of thing. Uh, get all that stuff kind of kind of worked out in a way that feels um, oops. this is already like super super interesting to see everything roll together the way that it is so I want to give him like this almost like this shelf in the back like it's like this straight that kind of like loops into ooh that's looking pretty cool i'm liking that cuz i feel like i feel like this is creating like this uh this heaviness but like this heaviness that's balancing out the front heaviness Okay, 
Okay, so some of these things uh, on the body will likely be kind of tweet, right? Um, oh yeah, but but for the uh, for the prints too, yeah. So so the prints are kind of a uh, like I, I don't want to go through and spend a whole bunch of time and and money just like printing them out on my on my printer. Yeah, I'm making all the game res models myself. I've already gone through and started modeling out one of the uh, one of the environments. Um, and then uh, I've already got, I mean, I've already got my base mesh for the characters. You know, like this is, <laughs> this is made from one of the base meshes. Um, so it's really just a matter of, taking it and making it work. Um, one character at a time. Um, I'll probably have to hire uh, a rigging artist at some point or learn rigging. <laughs> rigging is one of those things that I want to be able to do. Um, I could make his ear small. Let's try that because that could be worth symmetry it makes him feel certainly like a lot bigger which is cool I like that maybe let's kind of give him like some slightly different shaped ears so that it's not like oh I recognize those from that character <laughs> to try to let's play with this a little bit let's take this elbow and just kind of like inset it just a little bit because I think that that might allow me to get nah I don't like that Smooth that out so that it's not so lumpy. Get a better transition for the ears into the head, right? Okay. Let's see what we get going on over here. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Do you know what sushi asarushi is? No. I don't. <laughs> I'm like super not well versed <laughs> with sushi. In fact, I'm pretty certain that sushiyama is already a real thing. Um, but. I'm using it uh, in my way, right? <laughs> it is not a food, it is a food demon. <laughs> okay, 
let's get this chest kind of smoothed out here on the edges get those shoulders kind of smoothed out just a bit in fact this let's let's go ahead and take this back the other way something kind of more like that let's see how that works or if it works <laughs> Purely for the sake of being able to test everything together, I think it's important uh, fairly early on, and in kind of the uh, the spirit of the idea of a vertical slice sort of thing, um, I want to try to get the other elements represented. Um, Make sure that this is you know, so that those cheeks feel kind of heavy you know like like puffy saggy like because while uh, while most sumo wrestlers are actually not very I'll say obese they're, they're just like big <laughs> but yeah stuffed animals that were sold in japan baby harp seals done up as sushi that's kind of funny so is um is asa or rushi or something is that um is that japanese for seal we'll just kind of like take this in Makes him look like this big, big sushi baby. I kind of like that little extra pudge there to his cheek. <laughs> And I think one of the things that we could do, because I'm, I'm liking kind of what's starting to happen here, I am going to take this and let's just give it a little bit of a dimple there. I don't think that's something we'll ever see because this section of his face is going to be hidden by a mask, right? So I'm not really too worried about it being seen, um, but purely from the standpoint of seeing that it's there i think i think that that helps me personally um now for these eyes i want them to be very different i need them to essentially be the same shape but upside down um let me see it's 9 30 now i don't want to be spending a ton more time on this tonight here let's go ahead let's save out <clears throat> Sushiyama, get down to that version number one, say save. Okay, so, so a few things just to be able to kind of landmark some things for myself um i really like the shapes of those hands the ones in the concept the ones inside of the model that's not going to cut it um it was a rhyming thing so it was just part of the name okay that's kind of funny though <laughs> it's really kind of funny I think I actually let's let's take the legs and let's let's streamline those leg shapes and then one of the other things that I want to do is I want to block in here let's get the those knees to kind of overhang a little bit more 
even though this isn't like super sumo, it's like <laughs> Disney merch decided to jump on the idea and make versions of Winnie the Pooh characters. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you tired of referring to like all the little, uh, like the, uh, the cat and the, um, the bear and the, you know, all those, all those little characters that they sell really big over at the Tokyo Disneyland. Um, I almost got to design a character like that for, <laughs> uh, for Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo is wanting to do something similar to those characters for, uh, for some, some, like a celebration of some old orange tree, um, that they have over in Little Tokyo. It was it was cool, it was fun. Um, got to do a bunch of sketches and all my sketches ended up being the same as uh, as Ethan. <laughs> as Ethan, I, I can't remember, Ethan Hawker, is that his last name? I can't remember his last name off the top of my head right now. Um, Ethan Reed, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. That's terrible. But uh, all of his sketches were very similar to mine, and so I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> My idea is the same as his, so, you know, if, if his idea gets picked, then great. <laughs> it was so funny. It just became a thing for me of like, oh, okay, I had the same idea as this guy, so that must mean it's a pretty good idea, and if it gets picked, then great. It's uh, it's a winning idea. <laughs> and I had that. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the end. But yeah, it was fun. Ethan Reed, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he was super big. They put they pulled them all from the store shelves. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. That's that's a little bit too much. That's excessive. That's like <laughs> I mean, come on, just just let the people have their toys. <laughs> okay, so let me see this bit right here. Let's let's make this our little indent. That'll be kind of where we have that that little plane change. trying to like rearrange these foot shapes so that he has I feel like I want to take the top half of his head and kind of pull it back some um, our character should not be seen as food tell that to the consumer <laughs> Let's go ahead and do something like that. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to, what to feel on, on those sorts of points anymore. <laughs> Let's get rid of that nose. Okay. 
the I feel like the eyes feel too sunken in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the eyes, just the eyes. And we're just going to kind of pull them forward some. There we go. That's that's feeling a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> you might still have a couple of them. <laughs> Contraband. <laughs> take this top lip let's see if we can just kind of push it in I still want to have kind of like this nice uh, this nice flow here in the middle like this nice little gesture but I want it to kind of wrap down a little bit more just to see kind of what that looks like It's feeling a little bit too something. What is that? What, what is that? What is that? And then let's see. Let's get these so that they are in a good place. <laughs> Give it, make them a little bit smaller. Okay, that's pretty good. Now one of the things that we want to do, let's go ahead and fix the shape of the actual eye. So I want this to feel more aggressive. So we're essentially going to take this section. In fact, let's let's try something. I've got some, I've got an idea of something that I want to try. Let's let's come in here. No, I think I think going the other direction is probably the right idea. Let's let's come bring this forward just a little bit. Here, let me let me check these out just to make sure I didn't ruin them. <laughs> okay. Now let's go ahead and take the brow. I want to make sure that this eye shape is making that kind of like almost almost angry eye sort of look. I want this to I want this character to feel maybe not necessarily aggressive per se, but certainly a lot less approachable. <laughs> And I want to try to make sure that the that the shape has some cool uh, has some cool elements of like the way that the curve will kind of come, and it's like I've got this curve, and then it's like a little bit of a break right here, and then it curves down a little bit a little bit faster, uh, slight curve, and then a break, and then a curve up. So I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to how to compose those curves so that it feels good. Um. Go. 
which does make him look a little sleepy. So I'm trying to I'm trying to be careful of that. I guess it just doesn't it doesn't it's not the right emotion for his character. So <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I'm not. Doing him a disservice. These eyebrows are probably not going to matter a whole lot. Um, purely because they're going to be covered up by a mask, but I'm still going to keep them because. <laughs> You know, without the without the clothing, without the mask and everything, it's just kind of helpful to see a full face. You know, it's just helpful. It's just helpful. Okay, let's check proportions now that we know that we're like super off. Um, I'm going to take the whole head. Let's grab all these, all these, all these. Make sure that that's all unmasked. I'm going to take his head um, and I'm going to shrink it. Something like that might work out pretty all right. I think that's that's still that's I mean, it's still not quite perfect, but I think it's a, it's a good start. So let's uh, let's call that good for now. Just kind of smooth the transitions out a little bit. I want to take this. Let's let's grab this right here. Let's kind of bring this up so that this creates something of like a like a break. Creates a little break in that transition here from like head to neck. I think that's that's feeling pretty pretty good. I do want to still simplify this shape though. Having that roll off is still a pretty big priority for me. Let's grab this and kind of pull it around. Let's make Let's make this a little bit thicker, as if it's almost like, yeah, maybe not. I think I like it better the way it was. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> okay, I am going to say let's add in other pieces so we can have it represented. Yeah, you know what? The head and the shoulders. The arms, those need to come up. The arms need to get a lot bigger. Here's what we're going to do. The legs probably need to get bigger as well, but we'll uh, we'll deal with those here in a minute. I think that I think that there are some uh, some shape things that we need to tweak and and figure out. Let's grab let's 
grab all of that. Kind of soften it around, you know. Little doughy boy. Um, okay, I think that's feeling better. There is a huge likelihood and this guy is going to be insanely hard to rig and animate. <laughs> so I'll have to see kind of what we get out of him. Now he's feeling like he's a little bit too far back. Uh, the constant struggle, right? Constant struggle. <laughs> Got his uh, cheeks full of rice. I might have to go ahead and kind of play with getting some anatomy back in here. And and work at having the anatomy back in there a little bit. Um, while still trying to um, honor silhouettes. Okay, let's get other elements represented. Those arms are still not quite right. I'm gonna try. I feel like here, let's go ahead and let's let's say save okay let's save this as he is okay and then I'm gonna say version up let's go ahead and just shove that in there version 2 save feel like one of the things that I'm running into is and maybe it's just yeah let's just let's just trust this let's just trust this scale right here for right now let's get everything else represented and then we can make choices 
let's see. Um, let's see. Let's get our smartest curve, simple curve here. Let's go ahead and grab the open version geometry. Uh, let's say. Initialize Q cube. Just kind of shrink this down. Okay. Um, in fact, we don't even need this. I'm going to say delete. Um, I'm going to say Control Shift D. Let's go ahead and just grab a few of these rings. as many as it makes sense. Somewhere around there is probably good for now. Let's get rid of what's hidden. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, see here's my, my low resolution uh, <laughs> pumpkin spice. <laughs> Okay, let's get zero started back up and see if it doesn't cooperate. Let's get that recovered Z tool in here. Let's go ahead and say texture. Did I save? Let's go into concept Sushiyama spotlight brush samples spotlight projection awesome okay let's come in here and let's oh that's right geometry delete higher let's go ahead and grab some of this and just simplify That's right, okay, modified topology. I guess I didn't delete what was hidden, so. Yeah, say delete hidden. I'm gonna say reconstruct subdivisions. Delete higher. And let's just say, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna say deformation, we'll say polish by groups. That way it gets the, the points kind of cozied out a little bit. <laughs> Better save now. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, let's get back into the character folder. Sushiyama. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. What? File not saved my eye. Purely because I'm paranoid. There we go. It should be all right now. It should be all right now. <laughs> okay. Let's grab this. This needs to be a nice thick band. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and say polish by groups. Polish by groups. Turn on transparency. And let's just kind of pull this out some. Now, getting the thickness, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to weigh out whether or not I want the thickness to be uniform going all the way around, or what, but uh, we'll have to see. Because, um, I mean, right now, this, this kind of works so far, so we'll, we'll call it good for the time being. Um, I do want this to kind of go up a little bit. Um... 
I'm going to want Control Shift D. Let's say geometry. We'll say delete higher. What can you do? Let's grab this. And let's say delete hidden. Let's go ahead and start getting rid of pieces we don't need. Delete hidden. Okay, with these bits back here, well, I mean, really, like with all of this, I'm going to want to kind of streamline and get rid of some of the topology. There's just simply too much uh, at the moment. Here, let's go ahead and say deformation. We'll say inflate. Yeah, let's say geometry, delete hidden. Let's get rid of a few things here. Mirror and well, just to make sure that we're getting what we're hoping to get. <laughs> and we'll see about kind of making this so that this fits the form pretty nicely. In the back, uh, these always 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 make the uncomfortable uh separation of the butt cheeks um i can't imagine that being very comfortable but it's traditional you know so i'm going to honor it <laughs> um which means it could be fun to go through and, and sculpt in some butt cheeks i don't know let's uh Control Shift S, Control A. Okay, let's get this going here. Yes. Now, something that could be worth doing is studying uh, a little bit about like what this is like, how this is structured um, with traditional wraps, um, just so that I can uh, somewhat honor that in my design, because my sketch is obviously not very, uh, not very structured, not very, not very well informed. <laughs> Let me see. Let's go ahead and say, uh, let's color pick from the concept. Let's go ahead and get like a really like gentle off white. Yeah, it's not just uncomfortable for them. If you're seeing it in an elevator, you're too close, Leonard. <laughs> you poor guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, let's grab our skin shade. I have a skin shade five that I developed that has a slight bit less specular, specular to it, um, or different specular to it. I am not a huge fan of skin shade four, but it's what I've used for years. Um, you know, it could be worthwhile to eliminate that, uh, that eyelid by kind of pulling the stuff here forward we'll kind of smooth it down just a bit Let's see what we can get out of this and see if we like it if we don't like it we put it back right I liked it better the other way okay 
Okay, so here is the beginning of that. Let's grab, you know, the eyebrows don't particularly matter right now. Um, my friend's teenage daughter. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Let's go color, fill object. Color, fill object. And uh, this lower section, I think I might make this a little bit um, darker. Yeah, there's a little bit more of a darkness to it. Just so that there's a color distinction, it just kind of makes it feel a little bit more, uh, a little bit more thought out. And then let's grab the uh, the sushi color from the arms. You know what? Let's say um, let's say grab our standard brush. We'll turn on RGB. I'm just going to use the standard color for right now because I feel like um, later on I can go through and I can add color variation. That's fine. It's easy enough to do. Um, but for right now, I want to make sure that I have a clean color to pick from if I wanted. Uh, and then it's just available in the model. It's a lot easier to color pick from the model than it is to color pick from, um, what's it called? From the concept. Okay, so blocking that in. You'll notice that I still have the chest white is because like the the sushi that goes over the top of that I'm, I'm intending for that to be an extra slab of geometry that goes over the top so um, let's I'm gonna do the same thing like what I did with the other stuff let's say control shift D I'm going to say chest. We'll say geometry. We'll say delete higher, not dynamic. Uh, modified topology, delete hidden. It's getting kind of late. It's 10 o'clock. This one hour stream has gone a lot longer than I had, in <laughs> than I had intended, which is fine. See, let's just get rid of some of this stuff here. We'll say delete hidden. We'll grab this. We'll say bring all that back. Delete hidden again. Let's go ahead and grab the chest color. We'll say MRGB color fill object. Okay. Now this is where we start to make everything happen, right? Um, let's say. Let's say mask edge loop partial. Just so that it's just that middle bit that's selected, right? You know what? Let's let's see. Let's let's do something like this instead. Let's say polish by groups because this should hopefully round out corners a little bit. Give me a nice rounded kind of shape. I mean, I I don't particularly I guess need the corners, especially on the bottom, to be rounded out. Um, but it could be helpful. I don't know. We'll see. Let's play with it some. See what we see what we figure out. Go ahead and just there 
can kind of push that in. And then we're going to take this, I'm going to kind of scale it and kind of push it in. So this should hopefully help create a little bit of that seam here. Let's kind of mask that out. Let's see, let's see what we can do. I want to get a little bit rounder of a shape. And then this needs to feel like it's kind of tucking into the belt when the when the belt is uh, <laughs> voluminous enough to do so. <laughs> Chest plate is spam. <laughs> it could be spam. That's kind of funny. I do want to go through and start kind of blocking in the mask um, at Marvel. I have had the opportunity to do so many masks. It's unreal. <laughs> um, so many things that, that have been organic, but hard surface. And it's, it's been, it's been insane. Uh, it's been quite a trip. Uh, in fact, I've got one character that I'm doing um, right now that has some pieces that are kind of worked into the clothing that, that, that they're wearing that uh, has some yeah, kind of intricate details to it. And it's, it's like they want it all modeled in and it's just like, oh, I only have this week. <laughs> Just like I'm fast, I'm not that fast. <laughs> so you gotta try to figure it out, I guess. In fact, I wonder if I could just take the cheeks and just give them enough pudge because I think one of the things that I'm seeing is that it feels like the shape here I, I want to have this shape here but I feel like it's not strong enough trying all sorts of things It's all a matter of how things are interfacing, how things are going together. <laughs> hey, Cheese, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I got on intending to be on for about an hour, and then all of a sudden it's like, here I am a uh, lot longer than an hour after the fact. Um, <laughs> doing very... Well, <laughs> I'm going to give him like the, this dark red outline for the eyes just to kind of like imitate what's happening with the line work. I kind of like that. 
So let's let's model in. Let's block in this this mask. Let's see. I'm gonna say, sure. Why not? Like we did with everything else. Control Shift D to be able to add in. Some of that, let's say delete hidden, so we have just the head. Delete hidden, control shift A, delete hidden. Okay, so now we're down to just this section of the face. I'm going to split this into a couple different pieces. so that we have, where do I want to split this? Let's split it right here. And then I guess I'll, I'll worry about, uh, I'll worry about whatever else is going on here in a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say split hidden. So with this stuff, this is where I need the eyes to become much more, I'll say sinister. Um, there will not be any emoting from this mask. So I'm going to have the brow kind of come, you know what, let's do this. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Okay. Let's bring this forward. Bring this up. And then this little bit is going to be like completely different from what we're seeing on his actual face. Uh, this little bit's going to come out and make kind of like that little snout right here. Um, so let's see, let's see how we, let's see how we go about doing this. Let's go ahead and start bringing this out, making a brow. Yeah, let's go ahead and commit this color to it. Sounds like my wife's just gotten home. So I'll probably cut this here in a few minutes. Oops, 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 oops. Let's go ahead and kind of pick this up so that it's a little bit more level and then pull it back. Let's go ahead and smooth that down so that it's got a little less influence. This is going to need to kind of swoop back. Let's see. Let's delete this. 
Right now he looks like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Thanks, Leonard. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Cheese. Yeah. So, so uh, if you want, you can you can kind of like rewatch the stream a little bit to to be able to see kind of some of the stuff that uh, that I've shown so far. Um, there's a whole series that I kind of like low key plugged. <laughs> earlier let me show you just a little bit of that so so this is this is the lineup right so i mean over here we've got elote it's a luchador libre from you know elote is corn so he's gonna have like these like corn bits on his uh on his forearms <laughs> corn on his belt uh really really fun he's 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 turning out pretty cool actually i've got a little bit more uh, to his design Sweet Tooth is one that I, you know, I've already done. He's, you know, already fully flushed out as a statue, not as a, not as a character for a game quite yet. Um, Pumpkin Spice, I posted her up on my uh, Instagram, so she's there. I've got uh, Sugar. This is my daughter's favorite. This is Flapjack. <laughs> I've got Mystery Meat. You know, a little like a. <laughs> Film noir sort of style detective. <laughs> Got Sushiyama, which I'm doing right now. Uh, Beefcake, which you know this is an early iteration. I've got I've got other versions of him out somewhere that I've got to kind of keep working through. Uh, Salt and Pepper, the twins. Uh, I've got Cream Puff, a little girl riding a little bouncy ball thing, and then I've got uh, Muffin Top over here. I've got other ones too, but you know lots kind of working together and there's a lot going on with them i'm so 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 excited about <laughs> how much fun they are this hey, you know what let's go ahead i'm going to say collapse poly loop collapse that down so that that's a little bit cleaner and you know what let's just get rid of a couple of these because we don't need all of them Let's say deformation, polish by groups, something like that for now. Actually, let's do something like this. Let's say delete a poly, get rid of this, get rid of the, this. Geometry, delete hidden. So we'll have something like this, and then let's say deformation polished by groups. I feel like I hear it ticking. For this other piece, we're going to need this to be geometry, delete hidden. Delete hidden. We don't need it to be this dense. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and say insert. Let's get rid of a couple of these here. Let's get rid of that. 
And it's like, like really, like it's, it's all a matter of trying to figure out what it is that you need just to be able to block in shapes for right now, right? Like most of this topology, we can just get rid of just for the sake of having something cleaner and easier to work with. We can get rid of that too. Yeah, just delete that and that. Let's, let's get rid of that too. That's that's fine. That works. Okay. Let's say deformation, polish by groups. That was a lot more polish than I was expecting. <laughs> um, let's do something like this instead. <laughs> I do actually have a uh, a bunch of stories. It's it's so this is for a for a video game. That I'm uh, that I'm working on building out. Um, it's going to be a beat 'em up style game, like uh, like Street Fighter sort of thing, sort of style. And uh, the, these characters are all going to have obviously like their own specials and their own you know whatever you know that that makes them unique. And uh, it's it's <laughs> it's so exciting, like. I have never been so excited for a personal project in my life. <laughs> and I've gotten pretty excited for personal projects. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to start sculpting this out in kind of a more... Here, let me do this. I'm going to say... Uh, extrude all polygons. I'm going to extrude it inward. which means that I'm definitely going to have to wait for autosave to finish. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's grab this MRGB color fill object. That way, you know, we've got that stuff blocked in, right? Um, the eyebrows, since we don't need the eyebrows for the character himself, I can just go ahead and grab these, bring them out, and put them in position. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn on local symmetry here. This will start to get that shape in there that I need. Uh, some of this needs to kind of twist and rearrange. I'll have to figure out what exactly this needs to do to make this shape feel good and also make, <laughs> make it feel good from all the different angles in 3D. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of blocking in the process or process of the pro the process of blocking in, right? Blech. Okay, so this is meant to be like a slice of avocado or something like that, right? So we're gonna get get this kind of pulled in. Okay, let's get this eye definitely needs to make a very different shape. Let me try something real quick because this is going to be important to get the to get the eye shape right, which might make it more of like an oni sort of sort of shape, which could be really cool. Okay, so just a matter of getting it to work right for the design. One of the nice things about these characters is that they don't have pupils and irises. So I don't have to worry about that creating any kind of like uncanny valley sort of effects. I don't have to worry about that creating any kind of uh, that's like dramatically altering the look of the character. But I think it's okay. I think it's this is working. This is doing kind of more what I feel like I'm wanting. He 
looks much angrier, which is definitely more in the realm of what I want. So, so that'll work. Okay, that'll be all right. This bit right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like modify this quite heavily so that it fits the uh, fits the design, but it's okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. This bit is gonna have to make a different shape. This is gonna have to make a different shape. But I'm planning on dynamishing this and retopologizing it just because I feel like I'm having um, uh, that's too low res. Uh, that'll be good enough, probably. Let's go ahead and say Dynamesh. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm having a hard time uh, figuring out exactly what it is that I need this shape to do. So by taking it into Dynamesh, it's just allowing me the opportunity to sculpt it out, to just feel it out, figure it out. That should hopefully help me help me clarify my design. Quite a bit. Let's check and see thickness wise. I could do with some more thickness. <laughs> here, let's come over here. Let's say uh, auto masking, back face masking. Just that way we can go through and we can kind of sculpt in and out without having to worry too much about uh, what's happening on the back. Yeah, let's grab clip curve. Here, let's see. starting to work. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to try to like sketch in here a little bit what it is that I'm wanting to to achieve okay let's see let's get this to come forward some Oh, I want to turn on symmetry again so that I can kind of work some of this stuff in here nicely. Okay, so let's get something like this. And then this whole mask is going to be insanely asymmetrical. Like I'm going to need to really pay attention when I'm working details in um, so that I get it so that it feels very controlled, very designed. Yeah, I kind of want these eyes to be a little bit bigger 
and then shape wise I'm definitely not getting the right shape in here so Grab that. Kind of pull this back. Let's turn off local symmetry. And then essentially what I want to do here is I want to use this opportunity to then go ahead and use the uh, the knife curve. It's a knife curve. Um, and let's. kind of slice that in there like that. Something to that effect. Let's kind of slice that up a bit. No. <laughs> Did it auto save anything at all? Anything? <laughs> oh no. real dang it what was the most recent that we saved <laughs> it looks like the most recent that we have is this dang it Dang it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, like so much. <laughs> Yeah, Quentin, it's all your fault. <laughs> no. Dang it. Faulty <sighs> Let's try this again. Actually, I don't really have time to be able to like go through and really try this again. This is so uncool, guys. This is so not cool. It's like it doesn't save my my spotlight. It doesn't save anything. It is just useless. <laughs> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I hate it when that happens. Because it's like there's literally nothing that you can do for it. Pull that back, pull that back. <sighs> Knife curve. Yeah, let's go ahead and 
texture, load spotlight. Get back into the character here. There we go. Brush sample spotlight projection. Boom. going to say deformation mirror geometry mirror and weld <clears throat> I will express minor frustration <laughs> color fill object okay color fill object ah <sighs> Got the composure of a monk. <laughs> I need to quit. I need to quit. It's 10:30, um, and I think I still need to bring the trash can in. So you know, whatever. <laughs> he still has. He still has his funny little eyebrows there. Um. I am going to say. Let's hit save. Let's version up. Drag that into old. Three. This should save just fine. Yeah, I've got to have good composure late at night because the kids are sleeping, you know, right there. <laughs> Something else that I could do if I wasn't so much in the mood for um, for starting from <laughs> that other mesh that I have for doing the mask, um, I could just go through, step him up in, in subdivision levels, uh, and we could just draw out something that we can something that we can extract. So let's just let's just do this. We're going to go ahead and drag this out. So now we got this going on. So now we can say extract. We'll say extract, and that looks decent enough to start, you know. So we'll go ahead and start with this. Let's go ahead and take this and we will say boom select that mask it out mask it in bring everything else back
boy, now I feel like I'm kind of being swayed in the direction of keeping keeping this as a fairly uh, you know, I'll say separate from his face in the sense that you know, it would free him up to have some level of expression if I felt like that's what I wanted. Ah, it's tricky. You know what? I kind of like the idea. Let's 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 keep it so that it's a little bit more separate, like this. Um, obviously, I need to still clean up some shape stuff. There's definitely going to need to be some retopology. But <laughs> we saved. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of fix some of this. I do want this to be like uh, possibly like a like a softer round rather than having like a having too much of a peak I feel like and maybe it's maybe it needs a little bit more weight to it it's kind of interesting trying to trying to figure these sorts of things out on the fly your inspiration <laughs> I'm glad my misery can inspire you to have a happier life <laughs> I'm gonna save again <laughs> purely because karma right <laughs> phew okay I'm going to say Let's grab these. Okay, good, it's still treating them as separate. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> I'm, do they, okay, they don't have subdivision levels. That should work. Let's go ahead and say bend curve. Let's change directions. Boom. Uh, let's kind of pull this over here, pull this over here, let's say Scale, scale, let's add another bit for resolution and shaping. Okay, it just needs to be gentle. Let's, let's take it back a little bit. There we go, except Let's go ahead and grab this tooth color here. MRGB color fill object. This needs to have this <laughs> filled in. All right. Let's go ahead and rotate this, place this in its place. Definitely a little large. Oh, I need to load my movie in. Uh, show, load. Oh, oh, we didn't save it. Ah, such a pain. There's so much pain, guys. It's so much, so much pain. Okay, those eyes need to be a lot larger in order to get that feel to, to feel right. But this is going to be about right. Movie save. Sushiyama. Dang it. Okay, I'm 
going to isolate this and I am going to make the mask match the concept a little bit better. <laughs> There's no telling like how much work this is going to take to be quite right, but I think it's definitely important to get this to match up with the concept. I need to fix this now. Just gotta check it from different angles. Okay, so let's kind of take this and push this in. Let's take this, pull this out. This is gonna need to be something like this. Wow. Yeah, let's put these in <laughs> into their place. And take these, slide them into They're obviously not going to work from both sides. <laughs> There's definitely going to need to be some editing going on here to make sure that this is going to work and look appealing on the 3D model. But that's fine. We can we can figure that out. Okay, this is going to need to come forward some. And this is going to need to kind of fill out a little bit more, I think. Let's take this and kind of slide this back. Fill out that forehead shape just a little bit. Kind of kind of soften that. Even it out some, cozy out those points. Yeah. Get some stuff going on here. Now before I tell you guys that I am kinda of liking it so far, let's go ahead and hit save. <laughs> <laughs> it's going somewhere <laughs> okay this needs to kind of come up and let's go ahead and start adding in back face masking um Strengthen these shapes up here a little bit, strengthen the forms. I just kind of want to simplify the way that this flows. Right now it's, it's got like a lot of like waviness to these shapes. Um, we definitely need to simplify those forms, simplify those shapes so that it so that it feels you know appealing and like it works. 
Um, like it was done by somebody who knew what they were doing, right? <laughs> okay, let me see. take this pull this back in I think it's kind of cool that it's creating like this like cheekbone sort of effect um, but I don't feel like the structure of the outside of the eye is really working quite the way that I would like it to yet um, not to say it's not on its way it's just it's just it's just not there yet Let's grab this. Go ahead and kind of pull this up. See, that kind of feels cool. Now the thing is, is that I'm getting to this point and I'm feeling like, here, let me, let me try something just because I can. Um, let's hide those eyes. Since technically they don't need to be spheres, <laughs> I'm just going to try molding this to fit the shape that I want so it fits just inside of that uh, inside of that cavity these are stylized characters they don't need to make sense he has he's not going to have an iris or a pupil or anything like that so no need for it to be <laughs> too particular although this uh this shape right here is quite distracting so i'm going to try to pull that back some At this point, it's worthwhile for me to just go through and kind of consider this a concept sculpt. Color, fill object. Why won't it fill the, oh, brush, samples, no. Does it have a texture map? Delete UVs. In theory, this should not be happening because Spotlight projection is turned off. Okay, it's letting me color on it when I have spotlight projection turned on. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I feel sheepish. Okay, get that in there. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of this uh, color gradient started so that that's 
started. <laughs> this down here, I kind of want to give this a little bit more of a fanning out in the front. Just to, you know, protect dignity and whatnot. Um, let's see. Am I being too loud, Miss? See, that's where he's at so far. Eh? Yeah, he's got a long way to go, but he's yeah. he's looking fun. Yeah, it tastes are like sushi. It's like crab. Uh, no, I'd rather not think of them like crab because I feel like if they were crab, <laughs> then they wouldn't be teeth. <laughs> Rice. No, because his whole body's made out of rice. Except for his arms. It's something that we'd have to think about some more. That's another point. But you go ahead and you go get your glass of water so you can get get into bed, okay? They've been my, my little assistant art directors. <laughs> They're so much fun. <laughs> pull that back, pull that up. Hit <laughs> save. <laughs> Let's get the uh, let's get the hair blocked in back here. Let's get my IMM curves brush here. I'm gonna grab uh, this color too. Pull this in, pull this out. This way it's kind of making that uh, that hair bun sort of shape. And you know what, let's uh, let's take it and kind of push it this, this direction a little bit. I feel like that's kind of making a little bit more dynamic of a hair shape. I feel like it's going to need to come down maybe a little bit here. There we go. That's going to be cool. And then let's go ahead and grab this. Symmetry's on, so let's go ahead and center our thing here. I want to rotate this 180. Turn symmetry back on. Ah, oh, you know what? It's gonna make it a little bit smaller, a little bit of a different shape. Sleep well, darling. Oops. Let's say split hidden. So there we go. So now we've got the hair kind of represented. Um, we have other things that we... Uh, I'm still trying to decide. Let's kind of take this, kind of move 
this up. Okay, so far he's feeling pretty stinking cool. I'm still not totally convinced about the uh, about the ears and like keeping the ears on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get these to be about the right size. does feel a little bit far out. I want these to be a little bit more toward the center and I don't want them to block the eye. I don't want them to uh, I don't want them to hit the ridge of the eye, but I don't want them to block the eye. Let's see. Maybe it's just a matter of taking these, just kind of rotating them forward a little bit. Or taking them, just kind of lowering them even further, maybe shrinking them down just a smidge more, just so that they don't block. It's my water bottle. <laughs> my water bottle's making noises. go through and make sure that that's completely masked out in the center. This way I can have it wrap around that tooth, create something of a uh let's say a structure for like a like a base structure for that tooth. Kind of like the gums, you know, like a base structure sort of thing. Let's give this a different polygroup so that it's easier to manipulate. Like this, I think this is working. Save <laughs> because that's how it works, right? We have discovered this time and again just tonight. <laughs> I'm just like, dang it, stop hating me so much. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these edge loops in here because these don't need to be so heavy. Oops. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. We'll say cube simple. Let's say split unmasked. Rename these. I'm going to say teeth sharp. Just that I know what it is I'm dealing with. And for this, I'm going to say apply. 
Oh, I guess not apply. <laughs> Let's take that off now. Um, let's go ahead and just grab one of these now. Modify topology, delete hidden. Oh, sorry. Delete lower, delete hidden. Okay. Let's kind of lengthen this out. Oh, shoot. Let's go ahead and get this to feel more like a tooth. I do like the uh, like the natural bend in it, so we're going to, or rather the unnatural bend, I guess. Um, oops. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, let's say extrude all polygons. Boom. So now I just kind of go through and place it, and I've got some sort of tooth. Um, it does feel like a little, little large. So let's go ahead and shrink it, put it into place a little bit. do need this and, and granted you know once I have um, more of a succession of teeth uh, like the whole series then it'll be easier for me to figure out like how they all fit together and getting the shape like the overall shape to work together um, yeah let's go ahead and say polygroups auto groups Go ahead and take this. Oops. Let's go ahead and take this control click and drag just a little bit and then we'll say deformation mirror just so we have it on the other side and let's cozy it on into where it's supposed to be <laughs> okay so this is all for the sake of blocking in those teeth right um, I have no idea if this will even be the right direction for what I want to use to finish it out but you know it's good enough for for a start for a block in let's go ahead and take this and kind of pull this up and in pull this up and in Give this a little bit more girth, maybe around the gum, going around the uh, the outside of that tusk, and maybe a little bit, uh, you know, raise it up a little bit too. Give it this nice square shape here. Oh, so much to play with. So little time. <laughs> okay. None of this is really like honoring the concept as much as I'd like. <laughs> okay. So there's going to be a lot of redesigning on the model as I go along. Um, I 
that's a little bit better I mean, it's getting much more of like that rounded shape um, I still feel like it's kind of coming out a little bit far so I mean there's a little bit of adjustment to be made there but but honestly not too bad not too shabby Yeah, let's go ahead and kind of make these just a little bit skinnier. Oh, here, turn on the local symmetry here. Just make it a little bit skinnier. Kind of pull that into place here. Pull that in. Pull it out. Pull this in. Pull it out. Yeah, just pull it out. Just pull it, pull it around. You say, <laughs> do the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the ear makes him feel too human. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a layer. Add a layer. kind of sculpt that in around so that it's blended into the head it definitely feels better to me um, there are some things like this like it feels like this is creating too much of a Like not enough of like this straight shape here. I want it to have more of that straight edge shape while also having a little bit of that uh, curve on this side, you know? So it's, it's like ah, trying to balance all these different ideas into one piece of geometry. <laughs> it's such a mess. <laughs> this can get a little bit more droop to that silhouette he's starting to come along he's uh he's definitely off to a start he's going to be tricky to get to work like you know super well but Let's go ahead and extrude that out so that we have a belt. Let's go ahead and save it again because we don't want to lose it. <laughs> Say la vie. So there are a few things looking at this from the front. I feel like these shapes are a little bit too parallel, like his, the side of his face and his, uh, and his cheeks. So I'm going to start by taking his cheeks. I feel like it's too, too flat here. So let's kind of take this and kind of give it a little bit more roundness. Okay. Give that some sort of like a dynamic flow there or something and then i think let's take this let's have this break this silhouette see what this does for us i'm going to create a little bit stronger of a of a read with this mask because i mean this mask is such a huge part of this character Go ahead and kind of pull this down and in more. Just for the sake of making sure that I'm getting 
my money's worth in avocado. <laughs> So I've been actually like going through and, and um, doing little concept designs for a few months now. Um, Sweet Tooth, um, my first, the first Avenger, <laughs> the first, uh, the first food demon. Uh, let me, let me pull him up real quick. Uh, this guy right here um yeah he was like last year uh maybe the year before actually 2020 i'm pretty sure is when he came from but uh, uh let me see if i can figure it out real quick it's always so tricky because like the Instagrams don't want to load very quickly. <laughs> you know what? I might have gone back too far. I went back too far. Oh, there it is. So yeah, 2021. So it was year before last. Um, crazy to think that it's been two years already. But, uh... crazy it's just crazy oh my goodness oh my goodness 2021 so it's been it's been since then that uh that we had this guy as part of the family <laughs> um this guy however i came up with him maybe last month um I do feel like I'm getting too much of a hook to these teeth. I think I need to take some of that out. Um, let's grab this. Let's give myself a little straighter, a little straighter of a tooth. bring this intensity down like a ton okay I feel like that might be a little bit too much now yeah, let's pull let's pull some of that back especially going that direction so much better okay that's great just trying to make sure that my shapes are pretty consistent Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> it's it <hit> safe. <laughs> Dude, my kids say that all the time. It's like, you should have somebody make this out of chocolate because I would eat that. <laughs> and kind of pull this back and in um, what this is is allowing me to have is a, is well like the the full um, the full eye is now covered by the mask uh, so I don't have to worry as much um, that the eye itself is kind of poking out the bottom um, I'm going to call that pretty dang close. <laughs> Having that mask like that's going to be a huge benefit. Um, let me see. This 
want to take this out a little bit a little bit wider because I need to build in the uh, the brow and I, not, not like the the avocado part but the way that it's got like this uh, this kind of like this furrow <laughs> symmetry maybe something kind of like that Do something kind of like that. I'm trying to like give it like some uh, some stylization to some of these edges that will allow it to have um, some good like contrast read because especially when you're looking at him like on a screen and he's this far away. Um, it might not be as easy to see the cool details and whatnot, but we can still kind of, kind of put those in there and make it, make it pretty. I am going to say, that's, that's pretty slick. That is really, really slick. Um... I don't think of something like that. It was, it was one of those things that was like a combination of ideas that other people gave me, um, because I wanted to do something different than I had ever done before, um, and so I sent out a poll on Instagram, and and I asked, you know, what? I, oh, I guess I have I have my little sweet tooth down here. I totally forgot. That I had him down in that corner. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to do something that was that was different, something that I hadn't done before. And one of the things that you know, people people were like, you know, do Cupid, and I was like, yeah, Cupid's pretty pretty basic. <laughs> um, and somebody else was like, do a box of chocolates, and then I was like. What if it was a chocolate Cupid, and he was a golem, and he, you know, like <laughs> I went through it and like the ideas started just oozing out of my head, and it was amazing, it was amazing, and and then sometime last year I started thinking is like what if, what if I were to make a video game with a whole bunch of these characters and the first one that I came up with after um, after Sweet Tooth was Flapjack right here um, after Flapjack I had I had uh, you know Sugar and then you know the rest of them started kind of kind of flowing out and it was just <laughs> it was just fun <laughs> it was just so much fun and uh, it's still fun to go through and like I'll, I'll call it making discovery with them um, 
it's so much fun to go through and be like, you know, hey, uh, what would this character look like in, in a pose? Uh, what, what are their attacks like? And so I've, I've done some sketches of different characters' uh, poses, different attack poses. Um, and it's just a riot. It is so much fun. so much fun okay this guy's looking pretty slick and try making sure that those knees have some heft to them and then the thighs need to have a little bit more meat I'll say I'll say meat they need to have a little bit more meat to them there are so many things uh, detail wise that need to go into this to make this pop and, and really feel right you know so like different uh, sculpted details uh, getting the uh, this is this is a little bit too uh, too contrasty in the center, but um, but yeah, lots of things that I need to do to make sure that this that this is working properly. But good golly having so much fun with them so far. <laughs> and let's see, let's grab that arm and just kind of give it a little bit more weight here in the front. <laughs> it's so funny to see him without the mask now. <laughs> Hey Kareem, how you doing? Probably won't be on for a whole lot longer. Uh, it's late here. But... Yeah, this is the sushi man. Sushi Yama. Um, definitely a little ways to go. But definitely going somewhere. I love doing this sort of stuff, guys. This is so much fun. <laughs> and it's like I've told myself several times already, it's like, it's time to get off. And I'm still here. <laughs> and it's like, come on. Come on. You got to go to bed. Big boy's got to go to sleep. Such as big boy, sleepy boy. this so that the head fills up that space a little bit better I'm not gonna worry too much that the uh, that the rest of the head looks kind of odd it's kind of fun though <laughs> so let's see let's save it I have been like saving and undoing it and saving and then reading yeah you know, it's just like it's been such an insane journey on this guy because so much has happened oh you know what sick bake oh no I wonder why that happened. Bake. There we go. That's 
little bit better. cheek just because it's kind of funny out just a bit so that it's not so inserted <laughs> something like that <laughs> it's funny at Marvel there's such an obsession with making sure that there is the right amount of butt So I feel like I'm at work obsessing over the butt. <laughs> it's funny. game called mini ninjas huh I haven't These fingers are going to need to be longer. You know what? Let's invert it this way too, and then we'll just make the whole thumb a little bit longer. A little bit like that. through and kind of like work these just a little bit because if I don't emphasize them then I'm likely to run into an issue where it's like I miss where my joints are supposed to be um, Played Mini Ninjas, loved that game back in the day. What was it on? Was it a computer game? Was it a was it like a like a Nintendo Wii thing? What was it on? Cool. 
Let's make the fingertips nice and square too. PC and Xbox, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about this as I was uh, I was chatting with a friend from work who's like super into games and whatever and um, I mean it's been such a long time since I've played console games um, but it's like I when I was a when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, I had friends that had like Xboxes and and we would we would always play like Halo together and whatever and I was so bad at it. <laughs> I was so bad. <laughs> like Ari would be like, Oh no, we got Steven on our team, we're gonna lose <laughs> And they did. They did. Like, I am okay admitting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am definitely not a major gamer, but we're working on a major game. <laughs> oh, speaking of major games, has anybody played Hogwarts Legacy yet? got the PS5 but only game that I've played on it so far is a game called Astro's Playroom that they ship with it you'll get more games <laughs> so I worked on Hogwarts um, and it was so gratifying to to be able to watch some of the uh, some of the gameplay you know people people streaming their they're playing the game today um i don't know when i'll get a chance to play it i own it <laughs> i went ahead and i pre-ordered it because you know i worked on it my name's in the credits i want it <laughs> but uh grab this let's invert our visible geometry delete hidden what I want to do is I want to come down here and say unturn like turn off double and hit flip this way I've got a piece of meat there for his chest that will uh, show up properly I feel like it's cutting into his chin too much. And I mean it was it was fine, I guess, you know, but uh I think that kind of minimizing that effect is going to be to my benefit. <laughs> So that's coming along. These brows. Oops. I think they might need to come out just a little bit further. Break that silhouette a little bit more. I think that maybe this bit right up here might need to kind of come back in a little.
That feels better. And it feels like there might be a little bit too much cheek here. There we go. That's better. I feel like that's making a lot of the shapes that I'm wanting. Um, Let's go through, let's uh, kind of give this a little bit more of a, of a swoop up. I like that idea of having a little bit more of a swoop up and out. trying to decide if this is working a lot of times it's just going to take a matter of <laughs> seeing it further down along in the pipeline to be like oh yep that needs a change <laughs> and that's okay because when you're working on a personal project you get to make those decisions <laughs> good in my house but when I play at my friend's house if I'm miserable I'm miserable no matter where I'm playing <laughs> if I were to add variations in my portfolio like making different style of character do you recommend a style that will help my portfolio absolutely um, so like for a portfolio uh, you always want to think about showcasing your ability to match a concept um, more knuckle give him like gnarlier knuckles more shape um but yeah um because that's what a studio is going to care about is like it's it's not going to be so much of like a, oh can they model something cool though they're going to like that they're going to love seeing that you can model something nice and make it look really good and that you can art direct and you can pick style and you can do all sorts of things like that um, the thing that they're going to care the most about is whether or not they can tell that you will fit within their pipeline um, as a modeler we're not we're not hired to be individuals <laughs> We're hired to be part of a team and we're hired to to match a concept and a style and those sorts of things um so it's really really important for us as modelers to be able to match a concept So what I would do, some of the things that, that they want to know about um, would be things like uh, how well do they handle layers. And by layers, I mean like layers of clothing, layers of detail, layers of, um, layers of your character. Not layers of like, you know, 
using layers to create um, blend shapes or sculpted detail or things like that, but like layers of what's there. Um, because they want to see that you can handle complexity and the way that things, the way that things interact across the surface of the character. Uh, they want to see. That you can tell a story. They want to see that you can um, pick up on little nuances and designs of uh, the ways that the shape is broken up, or the ways that. Yeah, let's kind of give this a little bit longer of a tip here. Yeah, little thing, little things, kind of along those lines. There's a lot to unpack with that, <laughs> and I know that's a that's a very simple way of uh, kind of I guess unpacking that question. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that was clear and and made sense. Those are some of the things that you want to think about and you want to consider when you're creating. Uh, for your portfolio is how does it fit into the studio that I want to work at? Does it show that I can work from a design? Does it, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a little bit more pat on the, on this hand palm here. Um, does it show that I can match a design? Does it show that I can decipher design language? Does it show that I can, you know, you know, lots of lots of little things like that that are super super key in a production environment um, and if you can show that you know how to fill in gaps and holes um, in the design or in the production environment um, you'd be all the better for it so um, I'm going to call him blocked in for today. <laughs> yeah, I would show a range of styles. Um, so for a concept artist, a studio is going to hire you for your style. A studio is going to care about your style. But if you show a range of style in your portfolio as, as a modeler, um, that's going to be important because it's going to show that you're adaptable. So if you're, if you have your heart set only on working for like League of Legends or anything at Blizzard or anything like that, um, that's when I would go through and make sure that my portfolio is specific and <laughs> does not vary from from those sorts of styles but uh i feel like it's important as a modeler um you know to showcase that you can be adaptable and that you can nail a style um So try to try to be try to be versatile in your in your portfolio so you can show you know hey I can do a whole bunch of stuff you know like what I'm doing right now it's super different from anything else in my portfolio <laughs> um, and uh, you know there are some there are some changes that I had to make in the model to be able to adapt for production um, in ways that I tried to plus the design. Like this needs to have a little bit more noggin. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Q 
keep going. Be amazing. Let's hit save. I'm going to call it good for tonight. Go ahead and give it a little perspective so that it <laughs> shows up a bit more. Dang, it's so fun. I'm gonna take this. And let's let's give this a skin shade four. Um, skin shade four, material, color, fill objects. So you can see there it gets a little bit more of a specular look to it. Not a big deal, but you know, to me it's cool. <laughs> Super cool. You can see just how gnarly, like those teeth don't look right, but you know, they're not meant to, <laughs> to be too, um, they're not meant to be too round. something like that let's take the crease level down to two or even down to one let's see what that looks like yeah it's not sharp enough let's say two take these up to three yeah there we go same thing for this let's say dynamic up to three Increase level down to let's see something in this neighborhood. Let's say crease. That's not quite enough. There we go. Golden. Okay, crease level down to like two. Look at that. Look at that. It's a face that not even a mother could love. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, think about your audience. Cool, I'm calling it good. I'm gonna have to go through and rethink some shape things, but I mean, so far so good. So far so good. Lots of things left to do on him, but he is coming on. All right, guys save in fact let's go into those uh into those avocado brows something like that maybe yeah, let's do something like that that looks cool Okay, we're done. 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 All right. Man, I have fun, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming and hanging out with me for a bit. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he is so funny. <laughs> I'm probably going to go ahead and take him over into Procreate and do some paint overs just to kind of, uh, you know, figure out where I can strengthen my design, things like that, um, where I can, you know, how, like, tr maybe try to strategize on how I can take it so that it's a little bit more in line with my uh, concept. Yeah. I think a lot of it comes with like just the way that this silhouette has such a simple flow going around. And right here, there's so much of a break to it that it's just unreal. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really tricky trying to figure out like how to balance out different ideas. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. 
Um, he should be all right though when he when he turns his head. We'll have to see. <laughs> we'll have to see what what it is we get out of this. All right. Anyway, we'll call it good for now. Save and gosh, I don't know. I don't know when the next time is that I'll be jumping on again. Um, but I definitely will be jumping on again. <laughs> and I know for sure, just as, I, as much as I know anything, I'll see you the next time I see you. <laughs> okay. Smartest out.